So at NIST, we're working to develop the Privacy Framework, which we envision as a voluntary tool for enterprise risk management. We've seen that it's a real challenge for organizations to design and operate technologies that are mindful of diverse privacy needs. And so many of these technologies are fueled by so much data. So we think that the Privacy Framework can help organizations to consider how their systems, products, and services affect individuals and manage privacy risks so they can optimize the beneficial uses of data while minimizing adverse effects to individuals' privacy. So we kicked off this effort in October 2018, and it's been a very collaborative approach with stakeholders from across sectors through workshops, public comment periods, and webinars. Everything is still in draft form, so we encourage feedback absolutely as to work, we work toward getting to version 1.0. And so a few attributes of the framework we've introduced that we've heard a lot of support for. Uh, the framework is risk-based, it's outcome-based and non-prescriptive, which uh, allows it to be used by a variety of organizations of different sizes, in different sectors, with different mission and business objectives. Uh, the framework has accessible language, so it's usable by not only privacy professionals, but non-privacy professionals as well. And it's agnostic to any particular legal regime, so it can be used across different jurisdictions. Uh, the structure of the privacy framework parallels that of the cybersecurity framework because we've heard from a lot of our stakeholders that are interested in using both in tandem, and so this will facilitate that process. That said, for those who want to use the privacy framework and don't intend to use the cybersecurity framework, it can absolutely be used on its own too. So thanks to our engaging stakeholders who've been giving us so much feedback, we're making good progress on developing the framework and we're planning to release it later this year.